But we can't just infuse 2.4 milliliters of unison into this peripheral IV because it will cause tissue injury. So we have to further dilute this drug in another dilutant. We use normal saline or sterile water. Or we use IV fluid, like D5, half normal saline, because you might mix it up with some of the IV fluid in it that's at the bedside. But we need to dilute this medicine more. We need to figure out how much do I need to dilute it by. So let me show you another handy thing. which is um, my total dose that was ordered. So this was a 600 milligram dose. So dose ordered divided by the maximum allowable concentration, which is listed in your med reference and on the MAR, which in this case, it must be 30 milligrams per milliliter. This tells me that my 600 milligram dose has to be in a total of 20 milliliters. If I divide 600 by 30 or 60 by 3, I get 20. So how we're going to do this is we are going to draw up our concentrated med, which remember when we did 600 divided by 250 milligrams in a milliliter, we needed to draw 2.4 milliliters of that drug. But that needs to be in a total volume, minimum, it can be more if your patient's not fluid restricted, of 20 milliliters. I am going to add 17.6 milliliters of dilutant. And that becomes 20 milliliters. Um, to do that, let me just show you. I have my little syringe here. And I've taken out of my little vial of unison here two point four milliliters of my drug. And then I'm gonna get another little vial of normal saline and I'm going to add dilutant so that I come up to 20 milliliters total. There's just 2.4 of the concentrated drug and 17.6. You can just pull up to the 20. That's the minimum volume. You could pull up to 30, make it even less irritating, but we need to know what the maximum allowed concentration, the minimum volume to do that, okay? We'll go over more of these um, when we're doing our med simulation, because this is the hardest thing to figure out. But if you could just remember, the first step is, what do I want? What's my ordered dose? And what do I have to work with? Times the volume that I have to work with. And then if that drug needs to be further diluted, I take the ordered dose divided by what is the maximum concentration, and that gives me, this is the minimum volume that my drug must be diluted in. Okay? Okay. So, just let's review that one more time. Our first step is what is ordered, our dose desired, based on what concentration, what dose do we have readily available 
and the volume that it's in. And then if we want to further dilute it, because there is a maximum allowed concentration, we take our ordered dose and we divide that by the maximum allowed concentration. So let's do another drug. 